as we take a seat, we prepare ourselves for the conclusion of our first game today. Counter-Strike Network never sleeps, never stops. GG.Bet seems to believe that neither team has a distinct edge in this one. Fact-finding mission early from Mia, so he'll get greeted with Brolin. Good start, clean start. Mia in the pistol rounds, the last three of them has had immediate impact. <laughs> you can see his process of elimination, like could be walking up left, could be walking up right. JW does push that smoke. After all of that, Magix can't believe his luck, collects a freebie. And those are the first two deaths of this pistol round. It's gonna get difficult now for Golden and Co. A flash and three bodies, a lot of util. So Flush is gonna to wanna to try and get that smoke oh. somewhere useful. Great catch from Krims, Goosh is one. Bloody Here hell. again, he's everywhere. He's practically got all three of these kills again. I mean, he nearly killed JW through the smoke. It was Magic's to finish. Chopper is in the right place at the right time to deal with this as well. A little bit of pressure, of course. Can't stop the plant, so not bad work from Fnatic. You'll be happy with that. Um, but beyond that, let's see if we can get a couple of cherries on the top, bit of icing, you know, some little sweet treat on top of the cake. Now, Golden playing away. P250, of course, on site. Does go down Mir again. His name can't say how the kill feed. Disbalance will shut it. But as said, Fnatic, considering there was five against them, being the only bump on them, B. That's nine kills in three pistol rounds from Mir. wild. That is wild. Yeah. That, like, if you, have, if you wanted a player to, to put in your roster to confirm a very important round of the game, this is one man to pick up. Look at him go as well. Very, very precise with his USP. He's not flubbing his shots. He's not rushing them. Every click of his mouse with intent. That's going to put him in very good stead. My, my goodness. He did do about 40 damage to JW. Just confirmed it there in the ADR charts. Wow. 340 ADR in that round. Eagles. And three M4s. Two of them opting for the silence. Interesting. Train's probably a good map for it. Yeah. yeah train is, is quite a good map for the silenced M4s. It's one where you can be taking it quite obscure angles and harder for the T's to be finding you with all the smokes and utility they have to dump down towards the site. Uh, we'll see how the opening duel goes here because if Fnatic are able to open up with a kill onto Yard, then the dominoes of the CT defense can start to fall. However, if they lose that initial fight, well, at that point, the rest should just be mopped on up. So this is on Brolin. He's creeping forward. He's found a bit of a gap here. Shadow. There it is. So that's an opening, and now there's, there's potential for the CTs to have to move around. Oh, this is when Fnatic's fact-finding missions can really, really hurt the CT side. And yes, chipped away at, but JW does take Magix down as he's forced out of his angles. Good damage inflicted to SDY. This one could really slip away from them if they don't start to hunker down. The bomb, far from a sight. No need to be losing another man prior to them committing towards the site. Disbalance continues to take another look and his scout does tag up one, but Inna is about to be tagged. That incendiary, he's surely going to pull it out now. Golden to plant. Looks like he will not be contested. Gosh, Fnatic are getting away with... <sighs> Just daylight robbery at this point. Golden still Whoa. on it. Okay, 2v2, bomb planted, and there goes... Oh, Golden! Have a bit of that. Yeah, that, that is exactly how Inferno started. So we are off to the races. Mir gets a 3k in the pistol. Fnatic do Fnatic things in the Deagles. And, uh, well, just another day, I guess. Another day and another dollar. Gonna be Deagles armor, CZs. Very similar look, and instead it's five AKs with full util. So there should be very little that Spirit can say about this one. That's should being the operative word here. All right, as we get this one back underway here, the force by on the side of things for Team Spirit, it can still be potent, but not if Golden has anything to say about it. He'll be traded, that gun could be picked on up, but the cleanup crew of Fnatic are here. And they're able to make sure they mitigate any of these dramas that may have been quickly coming into the fray. <laughs> was it Cajun B who was called like the cleaner yeah. by Seminar at some point? I, I vaguely recall. Oh, Chopper. 
We're just quickly going to jump into a skybox here, guys. I oh, want to show you what happened in the previous round. So if you see what happens here with the initial duel, this was the one that opened up the gap. So Brolin gets the kill here onto Mia. And now look what happens. Magix immediately has to look away from Ivy. He's going to reposition. And that's opened up the scenario for JW to creep forward. As the kill comes in onto Magix, he's looking the wrong way. He's looking at main. SDY has dropped back. Pop is open as well. And that is what opened the door right there for Fnatic to get into that low buy round. Thank you for the Skybox, brought to you by America's Navy. Now, looking at the round four, we are going to be seeing something a bit quicker out of the tees to start us off, just getting some early brown holes control. And, ah, yes, I do love a good CT USP stack. As you turn the corner, oh, you are faced shape. by, yeah, it is actually, it's like the cheerleader squad. Like a rocket ship. Ready for launch. Who's going to fall foul to this? Crimson's is not going to believe what he's seeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So now JW can creep all the way through the backland. Oh, they're getting off. All right. JW could have crept through and killed them all here. And he will still, I think. He wants a knife. Oh, he the wants $1,500. $1,500. Um, oh, he goes for the left click. Even more BM. Neat and tidy. Great work. <laughs> Three kills from JW and one injecting plenty more cash into his bank account. They are going to be sitting on a quite a pretty pillow now. Lots of cash for them. Quiet so far from SDY and Magic's average damage per round floating under 20. Damn. He left clicks him, you cheeky mother. Nice. So no defuse kit here for Team Spirit going into the first gun round of their CT campaign on train, but I Balance has the big green out. So he's the man I want to see opening things up. Will he be greeted with anything? JW thinks better of flying out main. Roland. Uh. Got, got pretty far, surprisingly. Um, but on the other side, CT's starting to handle until Golden comes online. Yeah, this looks pretty damn good. Uh, however, Flasher losing that bomb by Ebox puts a lot of pressure now onto Crims and Golden. Already they have a lifting done, double kill found. And it's tagged up onto Disbalance, no armor as well. So we, you could really take him down, but he finds the line, catches Golden, makes things even more oh, difficult. Okay. Damn, Crims. Quick tap. This is very winnable. Absolutely. And he is going to have a lovely walk into Magix on this bomb train here. Shadow finds him. Looking good for the 1v3. Bomb retrieved. Disbalance low. No armor. Crim's looking for a safe haven for this plant. He almost had that clutch on Inferno. Almost. Disbalance though. Quite passive. Was by old bomb train. So slightly further back towards the stairs. Gives him a little bit of a lean towards B, bit of safety. And Krim's still looking, still trying to find anything he can, any indication of where I disbalance may be. But with 30 seconds left, he will have to make his mind up sooner rather than later. He's not going back tracks, is he? Right into disbalance's pre-aim? Not after all of that. Is he? No, no. No time. Clears his Ivy. 14 second mark. Turns the corner. Okay, Crims, that's quite the clutch. Oh. And he's feeling himself after that one. Fnatic continue their slew of rounds thanks to one man and one man only. I want to see that again from the start. That's first frag he gets. I don't know how many bullets he had in his AK, but it was such a... Yeah. I'm like one kill. I have one Did. bullet left towards that connector player. Three. Okay. Okay. Well, three. It was Ben's two. Great shots all round. All right, so it will be Spirit now back onto the low buy with the pistols here. It's not impossible for the Deagles to work. We saw it on the T side of train not that many rounds ago as we are heading into round number six. Need for Magics, Chopper with the smoke. Chopper's towards the inner side, so he wants to try and corral them towards that yard position. And Brolin robotically heads Mir. And I think one of the key factors for Mir being so pivotal in the stat lines for opening kills is his aggression towards main. We saw it on the pistol round. We've seen it on the gun rounds. Now we've seen it on Nico round. And if he wants to take the fight, his job, his responsibility is making sure he stops them coming out main. Nice from Magix. Able to reposition just a little bit. The sound cue could have the element of oh. surprise, he does! Like Peter Parker, straight off the wall. With that P250, eventually falls. See if anyone else from Spirit's been bitten by any radioactive spiders today. Chopper could. 
Mantle. Oh my goodness, he got hit by the nade. It's a sound cue. And as the smoke fades, no one's home. A boost, though, that is promising. JW is going in. I wonder if he spots that e box player. Oh, there's so many options, but Crims, like Jiggle, should confirm the round. Disbalance seems to think otherwise. See if he gets a follow up towards Crims. Got a good idea, but Crims probably feeling pretty on point after that previous one. Shuts this down to a JW. Could have got dicey. Could have got more dicey for a moment right there. Mm. JW was still in a very good position to clutch that one out. But if I Dispounce had made the kill onto Crims, well, who knows how that one would have ended up. Hopefully now, as the money and loss bonus starts to trickle in the upwards direction for Inside of Spirit, they'll be able to get a full buy. See if they want to bring out that double orb with I Dispounce and Magics within the early stages. It, it, exactly that, we will be seeing it on their second gun round, their second limp on in and flushes out main already. Not anymore, he's not Chad. Great catch, Magics. Eliminating that main threat. And Chopper about to be tested as well. He heard the sound cue at least, and that's enough for Disbalance to peek into it. Very stronger, very stronger, much stronger start. And now they are set up quite comfortably to deal with the inner Fnatic presence. If anyone was to walk through that smoke, oof, Chopper could get caught. Flashes were good, but he has found safe haven. Golden clipped by Disbalance's orb, and he's just everywhere. Three, no, two frags and a tag. Yeah, wrapped up. Nicely done, honestly. I, I'm really enjoying this balance on the orb. I think he's 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 a very fun fun prospect to see. I I don't think I've seen someone so polarizing though in 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 a while. Yeah, I mean, you know, gone are the days where you could be such a deady orper because mm. the very best in that role are doing both. Um, your devices, your symbols. You know, there's a lot of players that can be proficient on both. And so the gap in the market for a Deddy Orper, you know, the JDM spot on a team, if you will, right, has kind right. of fallen foul. It's fallen out of favor because why would I want one, one. <laughs> when I can have both? Not all teams have that luxury, though, of course. Not all players have that ability. Had you just got legged over towards Ivy in a heads-up Orp duel with JW? And SDY has been tagged up in a big way, too. This is falling apart quickly for Spirit. Sewn together are starting to fray, it feels. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some die young. Happy with that, probably. But JW slowed on the progress through Ivy. Molotov still there. Magic's. Oh, he's posted up. It doesn't feel safe, but he does have two teammates behind him, so he can allow a little bit of focus towards this. But now suddenly, some of that defense has been removed. Timing on that, and now the back lines are open. Ha! <laughs> nice catch of JW. Very ambitious. Trying to exploit the AWP. They're so separate. And that's their benefit. You can see how unaware as Magix was. He wasn't considering the fact that they'd be so separated, considering Jake. Oh! It was Crims's position on backtracks. So now just golden. Absolutely obtainable. Already seen Crims win a 1v3. Now a 1 versus 2. Full health. Bomb on his back. He does have the nightmare task of crossing SDY's line of sight, though. You're going to walk it? That would be very oh, fair. Oh, a miss. Okay. New lease of life for Golden. Up the ladder fast. He knows Chopper's going to be prepared for him. What's he got? No nades. Or at least none that will stop his entrance, but he doesn't anticipate it close. Clean finish. Spirit will take themselves their third. And that's all off the back of those initial frags, the overcome towards outer sight. One of the keys there was Chopper's not close enough to pick up that secondary orb. So the money situation... Maybe limiting what the buy will look like for Spirit going into round number nine. Yeah, the miss right there from SDY could have been catastrophic, but Chopper, well, he fixed that problem towards the inner. And now the orbs will come back out, so they could afford it. The Deagles again. We've seen these work for Fnatic once. Let's see if they can work again. <laughs> Such a good nade. And Golden finishes off the job as well. Very nice. Down the ladder for additional momentum. It bounces deep. Ooh, boy. Love it. I literally like a bouncy ball. Mm -hmm. The way it comes down. That really didn't look almost CS-like at that point. Is he going for it? Yeah, okay. They went for an ambitious shot at the bomb. He's going through gray screen down a ramp. And yeah, you're going to be meeting your impending doom. Nice. 
So some of the starts of these rounds from Fnatic have looked like they want to throw the standard smokes towards Yard. You'll hear me talking about them quite a lot. We've got the five lane, we've got the e-boxes, a lot of flashes over the top. And they're trying to have their entry fragger or normally the best spawn get out main using those flashes so that he can take a fight for the CT stuck in limbo while they're trying to push forward towards that e-box position to lock down pop. Now that approach right there, it is dangerous against two ops. The reason for that is you normally have one post up towards CT connector ready for that kind of play. And because Magix is playing over towards Ivy with his, he'll be in the back line ready from the six train to mop things up as well. So I don't shoot, I'm not too sure if Fnatic want to continue with that style. Here it looks like the two rounds in a row really want to establish, oh, look at Mir again. This is the aggression. Crash. Perfect. He was turned for it. Crims from Pop Dog. He made the space himself and now using it to great success. Oh, SD White. He's cognizant that that Crims was trying to play around the smoke and the pre-fire does not connect just yet. Very content to leave Chopper isolated on this inner site and he's been more than capable so far. Another great nade, halving JW as he investigates and ooh, info and burning. He's going to go down. That's all Chopper. Yet to fire a bullet and already found one on the hit. You couldn't ask for much more. Pushed up on the site. Does get outdone by Flusher, but a, a valiant attempt as is. Golden sells the bomb, so bear in mind he's not on the site just yet. Some die young might be able to do a little bit more than expected. Bomb goes down, sees that, knows there's a player up top. Good oh. adjustment, couldn't make it in time. And now Magix and Mir to try and hold on. Good molly time. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to get away from that. Oh. Just in the nick of time. Okay, very good chance now. Crims tagging up one. Mir's closing that gap at a rapid pace though. And Crims very quick to react. Difficult now, Magix. Yeah, he's going to have to think twice about this one. Crims looking for the info, goes for the quick flick, nothing to connect, and now saving. He's going to scurry away and maintain whatever he can. Maybe T-Spawn is a safe bet. Chopper and Mia are disbalanced as well. We'll all have enough money to buy here. STY should be on the precipice as well, and that means Spirit will be able to battle back and see if they can catch up to this lead Fnatic are establishing. Now bolstered six rounds on the T-side of train. For the spirit. Now, this pop controller it was strange that Ida's Balance wasn't aware that there was the possibility they could be pushing on through. I hadn't considered the shadow advantage there. That was one of the spots I wouldn't have at the tip of my tongue. Yeah, Mir was almost sneaky with that. He almost made it through, but it was a left eye peak as well for Crim. So, without that shadow, it was probably all over Red Rover. But that's the one you get from the top of uh, the, the yeah. low ramp train as well. So, double ult's back out. Here we go. This is. The last hurrah for Spirit, at least in the string of gun rounds, unless they go for more saves. Look how the Brolin is. Yeah, SDY was prepared, but he's going to get caught in transition. No, nice. Tucks in. They want to go fast here. Oh, Fnatic. This is ferocious. Double orb retakes impossible. They need fights and frags. Now Magix knows the same. He knows the drill. One isn't enough. A 2v3 functional for sure. Plenty of nades as well. Disbalance and Chopper, both heading to the backtracks to work and fight their way back into this yard position. So many lines of sight to clear. And the bomb starts that timer. I think you may have been seen here towards Ivy. I think JW knows something's up. This adjustment seems indicative of it. Chopper may be going unchecked thus far, but again, these post-plant adjustments from Fnatic just keep lending to strength upon strength. Smoke goes in from Ida's balance, but Golden still posted up very close by. Chopper did find JW. Oh, oh hold on, here we okay. go. Flusher now. Hit on this balance. He's back in the game here. Tries to spray in. Got goes it. down. This balance is on it. Wow. Should be good, yeah. Oof. How did they find Golden in the smoke there? That was know. wild. Let's see if we get the replay. I don't know if it was one of those classic grey screen, but your thighs sticking out. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Let's see if we get it from Disbalance's POV, because it started so wonderfully. Look at these early frags. They had smokes in the right places, so disbalance. That's how, ooh, okay, so Chopper was jumping over his bomb train smoke. Gets a nice little one way. The end. Yeah, we don't quite get to see it. That's a shame. Damn. It's all right. No Good catch. All the same. I don't know if uh, Golden is going to be too happy with that one. It did feel like he was, he'd done everything right. Biding his time in the smoke. He knew the defuse was the priority. All he had to do was stop it. Great win. And Spirit, you said, Chad, that would have broken them. That could have really tipped the scales in Fnatic's T-side favor. They are going accelerating into the... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Tech is out. Absolutely love it. Don't mind that either, though. Be careful. Look who's coming for more. Crims almost took the space, but I just bounced quick. He is, isn't he? That's a freebie. Golden going for retrieval. Cost him his life. Deadly sin. 
Three gets the better. Disbalance onto Brawler. Now all flush. Oh, he has a Molotov. We could be talking about something if he gets it down in time. Smuggling they have a smoke. Please. Yeah, you're bang, you're bang on there, Loz. Four, three, two, and one. Oh. Six, six. I, I want to talk about um, a useful death. Right, I know that sounds silly. No, I, I use that excuse all the time when I die constantly. There we go, we did get the replay just oh, there. So it? it was just straight through the smoke. Here you go, getting it from both angles, oh, just straight play. through the smoke. So Golden, nothing Golden couldn't done. have done anything in that scenario, the poor guy. Uh, the useful death is the one that SDY had there at Pop Dog, right? Because him dying and the gun dropping into Pop is what baited Golden down. And, and that was allowing the teammate to get the trade kill. So that's like, not a, he hasn't wasted his life there by any means. He's actually setting them up in a fantastic way for that retake. Anyway, let's get back underway. Crims is out, he's in the Olaf position, former teammate. Not right now as Mir lops forward some nades, but Crims gets the better of him with the cusp of the smoke. He's looking on point today. Magic's backing away, but JW's Oh my god, he's, he's through. through. Yeah, he hit him with it. He's going to have some inkling, but so fast. My god, yeah, Chopper disbalanced, both addressing it. He's caused complete disarray in the ranks. They're so spread out now. This is classic Fnatic. They have to take space somewhere. CT Molly actually burning SDY for the sound cue. No idea. Do it, JW. Oh, no. That's a disaster. Chad, look what you've done. Oh. Oh. I hope we get the player cam reaction of JW after that. Oh, Deep Lord. Oh, Lord. Deep breaths now. He'll There's be able to time. giggle. He can totally giggle if they convert. And it's... Uh, too far out of the realms of possibility. An equalizer does raise an eyebrow. Bronn's going for a fast plant here, or at least bringing the bomb down the ramp. Set up on the ladder for a distribution. Not anymore. It's destruction instead. Disbalance. Throws him off. Kilter can't get the next. Nice from Flusher. Need to see that plant soon. That's Crimson's responsibility. They are low. Open an org for the retake. Far from easy. Flasher safe now from the AWP and Crimson's hit another bang and headshot. That's his second of the round. And they won't move a muscle. Magic's going to be cognizant of that. They have to... Nothing more than... Wow! He takes down Crims. A very quick reaction shot. Is it game back on? He's got a kid, I guess, but yeah. he's still hunting around. He's still looking for Flusher. Oh, he's done he it. there, beautifully played by Flusher. That jump. Not easy. Difficult. Uh, <laughs> the fact that he's pulled it off, and if he'd won that round, that would have been wild scenes right there. Now, ugh. this is it. Chopper just spinning around. JW was kind of like walking back with him. All right, come back to me. Come on, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'll get the knife kill. But that right there didn't matter at the end of the day. Fnatic will still convert the round. There you go, over the top. Hey, Rush loved that too. Yeah. He loves the Rush, jump. that's a hard jump, right? It is definitely a hard jump, so Can you make uh, well it rush? played. Uh, a couple of times, maybe not every time. It's like when you're doing the uh, the EXO crouch oh. jump. Yeah, kind of, yeah, long jumping with the EXO, big fan. For EXO, right? Rush, you used to remember that time that you were observing me and I was I was jumping on top of that thing on Mirage? Oh, yes, in mid, on the, the I don't know what you would call that, that cubby spot? Yeah, I was teaching him. We called it tap. I can't remember who you were with, that, but yeah, you were showing the enemy team. It was very nice, very wholesome. I'm always teaching, Rush. Yeah, that's very true. Not many lessons to really take away from this round, is there? Oh, this is one of the fun ones. You, you can. Like to rush, don't you? No, you pick, a, pick a topic line. We can talk about whatever you want. No, no, no. I love that. I love the rush. I did try and convince Rush to do a Minecraft hardcore server with me yesterday. Did he, did he bite? Uh, it was a very wishy-washy sort of answer. Look, I have yet to have the full experience. I'm down if we've got some free time. I really want all three of us... Do I have to play? I'd love it if you, you did. You don't have to, but it's really fun if you do. Yeah. And just see how much we end up hating. You just people. imagine how angry Chad would get if someone took something out of his chest. I had a diamond in here. Where's he gone? <laughs> I was, uh, I, I would like to play Among Us with you guys. We could record it, you know, make some content. Content. Content could be key. Hey, KW making some content himself. This is aggressive. We did see before who was it doing it. Crims went down here, did quite nicely. But the orbs going so aggressive, that's... That's something else. He's a slippery snake, old JW, and he... Ooh, Crims has taken a chunk of damage there in the duel. The chopper towards the inner side, and that's drawn the rotation because in this final round of the first half, the buy is not fantastic for Spirit, and looking in, walking into JW, he goes missing. His position will be given up. 
but they should let him get away. Nobody is in a forward position to take this fight. Mir from heaven could be dangerous. That's true. Playing around his own smoke and... Someday under no illusion that it's his responsibility to take that fight. It's certainly not. Ivy is where he wants. Gaze must be cast. Chopper reels in the first. Smoke towards Green Train. They continue their progress. This is towards Connector as well. This will be the hit. Magic says no. Mere spotted. Multiple targets starting to overwhelm them, and it's all onto Brolin. This is a great equalizer. These two teams have been practically inseparable, and the half on the third map is exactly the same. 8-7. And the gingerbread man from Drury Lane is going to like that one. and a half is what brought us to this point and it's an 8-7 half at that so really this one half of train will determine our champions of this first game of day three Fnatic looking to get out of the gate swinging of pro league this is a slog this is an endurance race this is about developing live in a competitive atmosphere and there's so many weeks and matches of counter-strike round robin eight teams per group in the european region i've got sponge and pansy hanging out with me using the hashtag esl pro league you can tell us how much you hate us and love us and outside of that we can get into the action it is that final half and already seeing two smokes 
which I'm not quite sure what that indicates. You usually only require one for a taken towards that B site. Perhaps with an extra... Oh, okay. Maybe Magix does the twist smoke, Chad. Precisely, my dear Watson. You are on one today, Alex. This could be the smoke from the Ivy position going through connector towards the inner bomb site, but that might not even matter if Flusher gets a couple more. Decapitates SDY, the in-game leader on the other side of things taken down. Only four kills... Oh, JW knows. He's sniffing this one out. Magix is going to get caught with his pants down. Unlo oh! Did he throw it? I wonder if he gets it. After being shot at, does he still land it's the smoke? The air, it's, it's late. Lying. He's done it. He's got to know what it is. Surely I've seen that smoke go through. Now they do. Mir's on the case, but we know what happens with pistols and Mir. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wonder if he can keep keep this trend rolling. He's not necessarily going to be able to even get that plant down, but the smoke enables him for a different plant. Next one in the smoke. Chopper does the same, but one better. He's found another one. Oh, Brolin. Lucky to be alive. Mir to finish off the job, but he's got so many targets. Oh. He's not aware of the left side. Got golden. Oh, my God. Oh, he could do it again. He had it open for himself. He did. He really did. Another pistol round from the pistol round hero. Oh. Dennis, take a seat. Oh. Oh. Down to just 14. He could do it again. Kit on Crims, but he's running out of time. He's planning for himself, and Crims isn't even on the bomb yet. I'll find it. Got it. One more tag, oh, running no, out of bullets, he needs to reload, he's got the defuse, oh. and steals it! Oh, that is such a round of Counter-Strike 1, I'm sure Mir is going to be miffed about. He did so much work. Oh no, that could have been something special. He's still a pistol god, I'll give him that. Yeah, he's been... How much was it? Was it a 2v4, 2v5? Uh, 2v4 on the, on the B site, yeah. Uh, the chopper getting the one onto JW was cheeky. The fact that he gets away with this is nuts. And oh my god, the smoke's just fading as it comes in with a diffuse. <gasps> That is the closest of margins right there. Unlucky. The fact he tags him in the smoke and the damage fall off is like 11 instead of 14. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, he's picking up where he left off. He maybe didn't win the clutch, but he can open up the rounds here. Has to catch a grenade. I'd catch a grenade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put my hand on... I never understood the second line. It's like, dude, what are you doing that? You don't have to put your hand on a blade. Like... If you're already catching, catching a, grenade. a grenade, I understand, because that's grenade's been thrown, yeah. right? But I why is he putting? Why did he put his hand on a blade? It's like, dude, there's a knife there. It's sharp. Don't do that. Are. Don't do. It's not like he's like blocking it with his hand. Is that what he's trying to suggest? Are we are we in hand to hand combat Maybe. now, Bruno? Maybe. Is it Bruno Mars? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. It is, throw my hand on a blade. I thought it was hey, why my head on a Why are you throwing your hand on a blade? I understand if you want to catch a grenade for someone, you know, maybe an interception of sorts, but. Jumping your hand in front off of the blade. Is, I think he just needs it's to calm suicidal. down a Calm bit. down, Bruno. It's a bit much. <laughs> Jesus. No one's going, oh, I love a man who's going to Oh, yeah, lo me. yeah, I love it when he just stabs himself repeatedly. Oh, it's so sweet. In the name of love. It's a bit, bit easy now. He easy knows, now. Mark Crims isn't going to be loving this. They are tucked under him. They are going to appear, and he's not going to have a chance to react right now. <laughs> or will he? He actually got it. I can't believe it. Okay, so now this is more reasonable. Bomb will go down, and Golden's flank should find the first, maybe even the second, if he bides his time. Hello, Gavner. All right, mate. One more will do. Magic's low and finished off. Now it'll want 1v1. Oh. This time it's Fnatic again. Oh, this is twice in a row. It's come down to a one on one and a scrap of health. And they've gone Fnatic's way twice in a row to start off our final half. Should be another buy from Spirit here. The plant. Again, the loss bonus now at a decent amount that they should be able to get Galil's up, Mac 10s up, and still be able to apply themselves or drop AKs across if they want to have a couple of heroes. And then really didn't have a way out without that kill, so picking that one up. We got a little bit dicey on the Magics, and he even converts the third here. So great flank from Gold, and the in game leader has actually been looking very impressive today. Oh, well, and having a bit of a giggle, a bit of a laugh. A nice day. Yeah, it's good, good to see boys. him smiling. It's good to see him smiling. Roland's a fun story, Lauren. We might get into that one with the next Fnatic game. Mm. Parents were traveling around the world with him, going to events. It was all lovely scenes. Very cute. Ooh, JW almost played in a little end. What to be? Okay, so it is a bit of a default spread this time around. Spirit over towards Ivy, seeing if they can open up into JW. Double peeking from both heights on the bin and below. Or trash cans for those Americans who are watching. I'm not saying Americans, Americans are, are trash cans. No, what I'm saying is oh, that in America they call it like trash. And we call it rubbish bins. Rubbish. Would you ever say rubbish bin or just bin, Alex? I'd probably call it a bin. Rub rubbish is when I'm being, you know, formal. I'm or if I'm taking out the rubbish. Yes. To the bin. 
to the, the bin. Oh, there's so. Oh, it's very complicated. Uh, Brawn, though, also having a bit of a complicated fight potentially if they do decide to go for it. But for now, that's not really on the card. Flusher is about to get quite the information here. Didn't see them initially. Now does. This could be quite nice for Golden too. Going to be gifted the information, but. Traded out one for one, but picture noted. Moyes go up, but that's not where the vast majority of the T's are heading just yet. This is good for Spirit having the 4v4 and the bomb now trickling out of the lane. Chopper breaking, well, wanting to break the windows. Has to get the smoke down, but there is Grims. What a flurry of Fnatic frags. Force the 11th. Now those four spies come back to hurt Spirit because it wasn't a close round. If they were able to manage that CT economy by getting the magic number of three kills, we might have been seeing them in a position to push forward and grab some deagles in this round. But they should still go for some upgrades. It's just going to be more difficult because now Fnatic have had an opportunity to build a little bit of a bank. A decent buy. Galil... And the AKs have been scavenged from those earlier rounds. MP9 in the hands of JW. Let's see if he goes for an Ivy push with his spawn. Looks like he's going to be doing exactly that. Can read the guy. You know what he's going to do when he has the moves. And he's been spotted. We'll still get the damage onto Magix. And the nade is going to follow up. Lovely bowling there from Shane. <laughs> the leg spin on that Hello. one. Hello. Yeah, does blow the hell off Brolin. And the bomb's still at T-spawn, so... There's a world in which this one gets a bit confusing for the Fnatic CT side. Golden, however, has answered all of my questions with the line of sight he's currently adopted. They could actually just rotate to him. Crims is right now. Flusher should probably do the same, and they should try and play the bomb. Normally, I wouldn't advise this, but because they've lost so much territory across the map, the fight. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, Mir's surely cognis. Ooh, clean. Nice use of the USP there. Knew there's an absence of helmets around. Now Golden positioned again to do good damage. A very quick reaction. He's doing everything right. The incendiary does force SDY to respect it. Flusher in the meantime trying to see if he can contribute anything. The chopper's charging through the brown holes and Golden continues to keep them at bay. This is a great round from the in-game leader. Closing on on 20 frags as well. Stunning stuff, truly. And Golden's done enough to really make the clock another enemy here too. If I'm Chopper though, I might have used that sound cue to just scoop up the bomb. Making his own. Time is such a nightmare here. Does he make it? Flush is going to come through pop. <laughs> Chopper ignoring the sound cue. This is brave. He will have a chance, but he knows the flank is fast behind him. Flush has probably got the timing here. Fakes it. Hope for a one dig. Five seconds. Oh. He is low. Does he have the balls? Golden. Hesitant, Chopper, chance to clutch an important round here for the grand scheme of things, can't adjust. Golden patience prevails and it's a quad kill from the in-game leader to deal with that bomb dropped at spawn. Great round, a great sequence of events in favor of Golden there. How many 1v1s is that? That's uh, the last four rounds have been three 1v1s to close out. You really did say this was going to be a different time of Counter-Strike. Yeah, You're not wrong, bit, are you? Bit more, a bit more biffy. Now, I want to make a correction here. Uh, I have labeled SDY as the in-game leader of Spirit throughout. Right. I've been corrected. Okay. It's Chopper. Ooh. So, uh... On top fraggers. Yeah, big boy Chopper. He's the one who's been calling the shots here for the side of things of Spirit. So we just want to make sure we make a little uh, addendum to that one right there. Dispance has been given a warning shot across the bow. That's if he was a ship. He isn't. He's a human being, okay? Where is the bow? Is that the front? That's, like, yeah, a shot across the, the bow, yeah. So the front of the boat, you know, because like uh. they, they, they fought sideways. Yeah. So a shot across the bow meant you missed. Got it. Never remember all the other bits and bobs, but that nade, does it find anything? No. Nope. Does feel like the nade is like all or nothing sometimes. Still a bit of a drop down. <laughs> so well prepared. Some die young, chopper denied, and suddenly this T side looks like it's lacking a little bit of what they wanted. That's going to help, though. That really does. And the flashes suggest there might be CT aggression. It's from long range. Now, oh, poor old Disbalance, he's still shaken from the initial tag of JW's AWP, and Magic's about to walk through gray screened. Oh, he's spotted. Yep, staring at it as it fades. It's become an integral part of the modern day Counter Strike. That Slight advantage gifted to the player that lingers within the smoke. Different when there's an orb staring at you, though. 
This round is almost impossible for Argus Balance yeah. here. JW on the flank as well. It's only a matter of time until he claws on in. And I think with the orb that he is about to lose, it's a great time here to remind everybody what Lauren was talking about towards the tail end of the death segment. The force by, by style means that Argus Balance won't be able to get the orb up as much as he would probably like. And that is the first time we've seen it on this T side. I set him as a win condition to be able to find opening frags and give an advantage to Spirit within the early stages. Here's the totem drop just one more time being dealt with. It doesn't really feel like it works anymore, Alex. I can't remember the last time we've been seeing too many successful totem drops down the pop dog. No, nor I. I mean, you can see how Brolin countered that one. He just took the flash on the chin, kept his crosshair still and held down mouse one. More often than not, the totem drop does not work out. However, Chopper and his team had the, uh, the alternative to that chat, if you'll remember. Team Spirit previously, you'd actually do the totem drop, but as he descends the ladder, using your teammate like an elevator to have moving accuracy correct, as yeah. they descended the ladder. It was pretty cool. Unfortunately, when you're playing against Brolin, one of the top pop players in the world, he's more than prepared. Oh, They're going to run boost. Is. This is cool. A different angle to be clearing that low ramp position. Love that peak. God, that's filthy. But Crims can swing here. You don't normally see two players towards the inner bomb site this late within the start of a round. It's true. This is going to be... Quite the nasty surprise. It's unlikely they flash it, so... Oh, Crims. Gets all three. Great control of the M4. That is majestic. Magic's just wondering where it all went wrong. The game plan out the window. Round two. 14 for Fnatic. Should they find the final frag? Another impossible clutch here. Yeah, twice in a row. Start. Crims low two. Mechanically, within the realms of possibility, what? and Lady Lux on Magic's side. A quick shot, just through the smoke. <sighs> they got double orbs as well, Lauren. There is... Where is JW? A okay, world sorry. in which he has room to manoeuvre here, but with 20 seconds, I don't really know how. How do you, how do you get that bomb down? Him, you, well, right? he has to get... Hope that Flusher misses. Thank hope that Brolin Brolin. doesn't track you. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible. Just quickly, if you are joining us. Hello. And you wanted to watch more Counter-Strike, yeah. I would really recommend staying around because up next is Astralis taking on Complexity mm -hmm. with the debut of Glaive back on the Astralis roster Welcome since back. his break. And it's going to be an exciting matchup to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. We will be having Bubski in the roster, Zipex and Esther Tag will be on the bench for today's outing. We'll get all into that later as this one here feels like it's coming to its logical conclusion. Fnatic have really started to stretch their legs. It's the force by where Team Spirit have done their best work on this map so far. Yeah, the bite so, so lacking, but JW is going to be under pressure. Normally he does do quite well with this. Flash has already shown his poise and prowess, even under the most stressful scenarios. And Chopper, your last man alive with the Tekkers. And none of these CTs giving him much. Crim's going to shut it down. Nice and comfy. Fnatic get to 15. Bear in mind, this has been an all-map series. We've gone all the way. So Fnatic pulling it together in the final hurdle here. Yeah, the CT side has been nothing short of flawless. We've yet to see Team Spirit connect a single successful round. And I'll remind you that mere 1v1 in the pistol. Oh, I will God. remind you how different this game could have looked if it wasn't for the clutch of Crims. Not the first time he's clutched as well this series. Another two-prong is set up on the inner bomb site right now. Oh, fights all over the map and fights going in the way of Fnatic. Three quick kills. Make it four. That's all she wrote. Yeah, quick way to the conclusion of a series. Golden gets caught out. Mir, he's been so phenomenal. He'd have to do it again. Oh. Yeah, a 1v4. It's certainly, uh. certainly no fun. But maybe Mir can find a way to uh, manipulate that fun. A missed shot from JW, and he actually opts to tuck in on the left. He might be able to elevate for a surprise, and that's perfect. Come on, Mir. Okay, Golden... The healthiest of the bunch, though. He's the kind of bigger boss to face off against, as Mir expected. No, he doesn't. There it is. 16 to 7. Fnatic close it down.